One in three teens will become pregnant in the U.S. And since May is Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month, ABC's One Life to Live is tackling the very real problem of kids who find out they're going to be parents. Take a look. Okay, we, we have a situation here. And, yeah, it's not what I wish would have happened, but I will not take back one thing that I said or felt that night, okay? Me neither. I just wish that we would have had a conversation. I mean, that we would have talked about it, that you would have worn a condom. I really wish that I'm not pregnant. Please welcome Kristen Alderson, who plays Star Manning, and Brandon Buddy, who plays Cole Thornhart. So, Kristen and Brandon, wow, you are really tackling a, a serious subject on One Life to Live, which is about, um, you know, teen pregnancy. When they came to you with this storyline, what were your thoughts about it? Um, we were, you know, of course, a little nervous, but very excited to be a part of such a great story mm -hmm. um, and to be able to help out teens and, and, you know, people that are even not really planning on being pregnant and stuff. And so it's been great to kind of make a difference and get the story out there. It's been, you're 16 or 17, Kristen? I'm 16. I'm going to be 17 in, I think, like 14 days. <laughs> you only have my birthday. Uh, what, what's been the response at school? Oh, I mean, my friends come up to me and they saw um, in the front page of like Soap Opera Digest that it said Star is pregnant and they came up to me, they're like, you're pregnant on the show? What's going to happen? Or what are you going to do? What's Star going to do? And I think, you know, it's, it's always a little bit of a shock when you hear that. And um, it's been, you know, really interesting and it's sparked a lot of conversations between me and my friends and coworkers and everything like that. It's been really great. You also got your first kiss on, on that show, didn't you? Yeah, I and did. You've been there, she's been there for 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you basically learned about the birds and the bees on that show. I did. Star kind of tended to um, experience things before I did, which yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 yeah. So I know. I, I'm shocked when I watch those videos. I right. mean, I go on YouTube and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't, like, I don't remember thinking that I was that little. I remember being like, yeah, you know, I'm all cool and like older. <laughs> Now, you, you've been blogging about this particular yes. subject. What yeah. have you, you getting a lot of feedback from outside kids? Yeah, um, um, on onelifetolive.com, I've been doing a blog, and it's about basically how I'm working with doing this storyline and being a 16-year-old playing a pregnant 16-year-old. So mm -hmm. it's been really, you know, like, interesting, and I've gotten great feedback yeah. on it. You know, teens are like, I started talking with my mom, and I started talking with my family about what I think about the whole situation, which is exactly what we're trying to do. It's probably so. a good bridge, a good way to bring it up. Yeah. You know, it opens up the dialogue. Definitely. Brandon, in this, you know, we've been following news stories like Jamie Lynn Spears, who's mm -hmm. 17, and her boyfriend sticking by her side. In this storyline, you stick by her side. Right. Um, do you think that's the reality? Uh, not really. Actually, my character is kind of living in a dream world, mm -hmm. um, just because he, he actually he, he's had a lot of different stuff happen to him. Right. Uh, his his dad passed away a few years ago, and just recently, a few months ago, his mom passed away. So this basically. Uh, this child is, is basically his new family. That's how he's looking at it. So he's got different circumstances than most uh, teenagers my age go through. He's emotionally invested in this. Exactly. Yeah. So, so you're not. I mean, you're not going to find that very often. Is he um, going to stay? You think your character will stay? Well, he wants to very much so. You know, and it, it's not. It's definitely not. Um, Can we get a guarantee? <laughs> it, uh, we could definitely say that that reality is going to kick in. Yeah. You know, as as much as you know, Star and Cole do love each other. There is a lot of trials and tribulations along with this pregnancy yeah, that they're going to have to go through. So he's yeah. going to have a big wake up call soon. So. You guys uh, on here, you you have you had had that talk about using protection uh, yeah. many many times. So what happened that you didn't use protection? Well, my uh, my dad had said that we were go that he was going to move me and my entire family to Hawaii suddenly the next day, and I was never going to see my boyfriend again, my friends. And Cole and Star decided to spend you know the, their last night together, just talking about you know mm -hmm. how much they love each other and everything. Right. And one thing led to another. I know this story. Yep. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, it's definitely a reality. The, these things happen all of the time where, Absolutely. you know, teenagers have a plan yeah. where they're going to use protection and then all of a sudden, the all plan. in the circumstance Emotions that... take over. Yeah. Just, you know what? It is also right, other right. people. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All yeah. the time. Well, we have in our audience, we have Marisa Nightingale, the senior director from the National Campaign to Prevent Teen and Unplanned Pregnancy. Now, Marisa, do you think it's a good idea for parents to get their kids to watch the storyline on One Life to Live? I really do. I think it's a great opportunity. I think parents and teens should watch it together. Mm. And you don't often hear that about television, but I think they should watch together. They should read Kristen's blog, which is terrific, okay. and comment on the blog. Just use it as a way to talk about their own values and what they believe and ask their kids what they think of what Kristen is going through. What about teens that are, that are in the situation already? What advice do you have, if you could quickly say, you know, the experience that you've had and what do you lend well, to them? I, what I would hate to say is that if, if the first time they're having the talk is when yeah. you have to say, hey, mom, I'm pregnant, that, that would be Not a good. bad scenario. Yeah. So my hope is that people really talk and make a plan and think about this way in advance. Before. But once there is a pregnancy, once there is a baby, of course, shower that teenager and her baby with all the love and all the support you can and get good Thanks. medical care and Absolutely. take care of them but if we could get as worked up about prevention in the first place then a lot right. of those difficult things wouldn't have to So your organization Thank supports Roe v. Wade I take it? Our organization supports prevention in the first place and okay. I think that right. parents and teens can start these conversations before there is a difficult situation. Yes. Cool. So the open communication is, is best. Mm -hmm. Well, to see what, thank you, Marissa, to see what happens with Star Manning and Manning and Cole, excuse me, Thornhart, you can catch One Life to Live at 2 p.m. right here on ABC. And for more information on preventing teen pregnancy, log, log on to our website. We'll be right back. Thank you.